Okay, Maddie Holland, how many coffees did you need to stay awake in that game? Two small ones and one large one. You didn't say? <laughs> <laughs> I had two coffees. <laughs> two coffees, okay. But if you're France, you've come into this World Cup with a formidable reputation. You've got an attacking lineup of uh, players. Is that three performances you will be happy as a coach? I think Deschamps will, will certainly take it. Um, I'm sure that him and his staff will analyse all three games you know, prior to the next game in the round of 16. Can they change too much? I wouldn't, I wouldn't think so. I think it's more about managing the players and getting them to believe in themselves a little bit more. He, he won't tweak too much because of the stage of the competition. It'll just be about motivating those players to carry out the instructions better, so to speak. Eugene, when France started this World Cup, they had a starting lineup of 11 players who didn't make the grade, who stayed at home. Those 11 players could have walked into perhaps 20 or 25 teams at this World Cup as a starting 11. This is not what you expect. Where's the flair? Where's the fun? Where's the, the slick passing? What do you expect from them? And it, it, let's be fair, they've been disappointing. Um, I feel they're a very young squad, you'd say. Uh, but at club level, they've got the experience. But at a World Cup, it's different. So there's a lot of expectation from every player to do well. And especially now against uh, Denmark, when he played the other players, a lot of expectation on a player's part, I want to perform. So mm -hmm. he chooses me for the next game, for starting 11. Mm -hmm. So but I think there's a lot of pressure on themselves where they it limits the performance, you know. Mm. So, and you see Denmark today were very resilient in the defense. They had a proper block of two, make it make, make, made it tough for France to penetrate them. So, I I would have to give full credit to Denmark for playing their tactical part and qualifying as a draw. Okay, but how do you turn it around? You did it, Deshaun. The next round you could get Argentina if they qualify. We'll get to that later on in the show. These kind of performance are not going to work there. No, but can I, insipid. Can I can I use that word insipid? Yeah, I. But I think you know the, with the attacking quality quality that they've got, they've always got Kante. We've said it before. Mm. You know, they they didn't look. They never looked too much under threat to concede anyway. But with that quality, you know, they know if they play Argentina, they know they they can't they can't sit back in the change room. They know they've got to get out there. They've got to play and combine. They've got to use the strengths of Mbappe mm. and Antoine Griezmann. Otherwise, they'll be going home. Yeah. So I think at that stage, because of what actually... It's, it's one game, it's not three. Mm. It's one. It's one after that. It's, it's one it's, and, it, and it, if you don't perform, you're on the plane. Yeah, it's a shootout. You win, you go ahead, you lose, you go home. Very quickly, Eugenson, for the Danes, uh, target achieved. They haven't been at the second round since 2002. So you could forgive them for playing the way they did. They needed a point, they got it. <laughs> That's what you want from a group and uh, being, at, being a player myself, uh, for us to qualify for the Asia Cup, you know, so we had all these calculations done. So I, Denmark would have done that, coaches said, do this, we stick to this, don't be too, you know, expressive that you want to do this and break formation and do it, attack when you mm -hmm. get a chance. But you could see them the moment they lose the ball, they'd come back to the defensive third, stay compact. That's what they did. And yeah, as a team, I have to give credit to them. Yes, they got those points. They threw to the round of 16. Let's turn our attention to the other match. This is uh, Australia versus Peru. You've got to take your chances. This is the World Cup. You can create chance after chance. You don't take your chances. The other team scores. Bye-bye. Game over. Well, you know, look at, look at Australia. They can see the five goals. You know, three teams in our group, second, third and uh, fourth, they all, uh, they all only score two goals as you saw from the graphic there on the group, but mm. Australia conceded five, you know, and two players that arguably can score goals, one probably later, I would say to Mikhail, you mm. know, at moments, everybody sitting at home and in studios and maybe even people on the bench were saying, he's probably going to get us a goal, yeah, late on, didn't, and one who I, I've said many times who I really wanted to see more of was Daniel Azani, and, yeah. we did, and we didn't, and that's a disappointment for me. Yes, because the coach is a very pragmatic coach, Bert Van Mavic. But let's talk about Peru, because in a sense, this was their return to the big stage. They've, they've played well, let's be fair. They've played well, they haven't got the results, but this is a performance. They go back home with pride and, and a fairy tale story for Guerrero as well. Uh, the captain, he's had to face a lot. And you just wonder what could have happened had... Cueva scored that penalty in that first game and they were nil-nil against Denmark. They, they were a very exciting team, personally, in my point 
I've, ever since I saw Carrillo play that day, I was mesmerized by his pace. Yeah. So he, he'd been a threat, and they were exciting team to watch. And I'm very glad that they won. I mean, it's like you, you like, or like you say, Morocco didn't get a win. You know, you're feeling sorry for them, but. Mm. Peru, now you feel happy that they've won. They actually won that. What they've played, the kind of football that they've played, they've actually gone there and got the three points. Huh? Yes, this is the World Cup. How many teams are heading home? Someone like in Egypt who haven't won a match. Well, Peru can celebrate.